Guys, we're visiting a Mar volcano. Guys, it's an extinct volcano! This is the Messel Slate Pit, and the site holds some of the best preserved prehistoric mammals in the entire world. At one point it was a massive crater lake, but people pumped out the water to mine for brown coal and oil shale from 1859 until 1971 when it became unprofitable. Then spent a few years as a landfill, until people realized that this is one of the only places in the world where fossils show hair, skin, and sometimes stomach contents. Since almost every other fossil you've seen is just bones, you might ask how that's possible. It's a process called shale petrification. Just stick with me for the next 30 seconds and you'll understand the whole process. A layer of algae forms at the bottom of the lake. Anaerobic bacteria eat the algae in the lake and deplete the oxygen, which is called... <laughs> Summer stagnation. Sometimes methane pockets form and erupt to the surface, suffocating anything along the way. So the cloud kills fish, turtles, horses, wolves, birds, bats, pterodactyls. Wait a minute, you're in the wrong period, dino. Get back to the Jurassic, you fake-ass Velasic. Everything sinks faster than it can rot on the surface because the low oxygen water is infused with methane. Once a carcass hits the bottom, it stays there. But the bacteria doesn't eat the skin, bones, or other animal bits, so it sort of pickles on the bottom, like when you see animals preserved in formaldehyde. The internal gas pressure of the stomach bacteria would build up so much that it would explode out the ribcage, breaking bones on the way out. Add time, rotten algae sediment, pressure, and bang! Perfectly preserved, though somewhat flat, shale fossils. Sorry guys, I think that story took way longer than 30 seconds. I mean, man, that really felt like 50 million years, am I right guys? I want my 30 seconds back! The only downside to these fossils is that a paleontologist has to sit around keeping the fossils wet until the resin sets, because dry shale turns to dust quickly. None of that would be an issue on the day we visited though, as a torrential downpour forced most of the tour group to hide in a shed that contained exhibits. After an hour, the tour guide ushered everyone back up the hill, even though it was still rainy. After all, we are in Germany, and a one-hour tour is a one-hour tour. Also true to German nature, they hate being wet, drafty, or chilly. So this group was very motivated to make it back up the hill as fast as possible. While drawing in the visitor center, I found a display of these turtles that were petrified while having sex. They were swimming and screwing and sank into some methane-infused water, absorbed it through their skin, and promptly died. This is just the first part of today. Tune in next time for the most metal public statue I've ever seen.